James A. Michener was born February 3, 1907, in Doylestown, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Michener never knew his biological parents and instead was raised by his adoptive Quaker mother, Mabel Michener. James was a very well-educated man. After he graduated summa cum laude from Swarthmore College in 1929, he decided to travel to Europe and studied there for two years. After returning to the States, Michener taught English for three years at George School in Newton, Pennsylvania. Deciding he wanted to go back to school, he attended Colorado State Teachers College, or now called the University of Northern Colorado. There, he earned his master's degree and began another teaching stint at the university. However, he was called to active duty during World War II, which put his teaching career on hold. It was there, in the midst of World War II, Michener began his writing career. His first published book, Tales of the South Pacific in 1947, was a book inspired by the time he spent as a lieutenant of the Navy in the South Pacific Ocean. This was only the beginning of Michener's writing career. He wrote over 40 different titles throughout his life. He was a very popular writer during his lifetime, and his novels sold around 75 million copies across the globe. Some of his most famous books include The Tales of the South Pacific, Alaska, The Source, Texas, and The Covenant. While writing was one of his loves in life, it wasn't his only one. In fact, Michener married three times. First to Patty Kuhn in 1935, then to Vange Nord in 1948, and finally to Mari Yoriko Sabuswana in 1955. The novel Sayonara was written as a quasi-autobiography of his life with Mari. Michener received a very notable award for his writing. In 1948, he received the Pultier Prize for Fiction. In his final years, he lived in Austin, Texas, and aside from being a renowned celebrity fan of the Texas Longhorns women's basketball team, he founded the MFA program, now named the Michener Center for Writers. James Michener died at the age of 90 in October of 97 after ending a daily dialysis treatment he had been using for the last four years of his life. His death was a result of kidney failure. When he died, he left his possessions in a state to the colleges he attended. Swarthmore College was left with his $10 million estate and the copyrights to his works. The University of Northern Colorado was given more personal items, such as his typewriter and even his actual teeth. Because he was such an influential author, there have been a few notable tributes made in his honor. First is the James A. Michener Art Museum, back in Doylestown, Pennsylvania, which houses collections of both local and well-known artists. Second is the James A. Michener Library at the University of Northern Colorado. The university named the library after their past student and teacher and even have a midway floor dedicated to him in the library. The final tribute made to Michener was on May 12, 2008. The United States Postal Service honored him with a 59 cent Distinguished American Series postage stamp. James A. Michener had a very memorable life, from being raised by his adoptive Quaker mother to a soldier in World War II to writing over 40 works which influenced the American population. And thanks to all his influences, his novels, and his tributes, he will not be soon forgotten.